Okay, so Total War Warhammer 3 is finally out and if the game is crashing and stuttering for you, this video is for you. Now you would like to close all the background applications that are running behind in your system that are taking up a lot of CPU and RAM usage. This will help with the scenario. Open the task manager using Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape. Alternatively, you can also go and search for it. So just launch it and here you will get to see that there are a lot of background tasks that are going on so i will close steam if you don't need that you can also close nvidia control panel because i won't be needing that premiere pro i won't be needing that so after you have closed a ton of applications that have been taking a lot of your cpu and your memory your game will run a lot smoother on your system but if this does not work then you should check the next step Change the game script. If you are running a combination of a 12th gen Intel CPU, the Alder Lake S1s and Windows 10, the game can stutter and drop FPS. Well, you can just upgrade to Windows 11 to fix this issue. But if you do not want to upgrade to Windows 11, then follow these steps. Open File Explorer, then head over to the C drive, then go to the Users folder and then to whatever username you have saved. For me, it is cool A. So after that, head over to the App Data. Now, if you do not see App Data, you would like to head over to the Task Manager and head over to Show and take the hidden items from here so after you have gone into app data go to roaming then to the creative assembly and then to warhammer 3 and then to scripts now from here open up the preferences.script.txt file now scroll all the way down and add a few more arguments in here so the command that you need to add is hybrid underscore cpus underscore treat underscore all underscore course underscore uniformly then space true then semicolon hit the enter key then type number underscore of underscore threads space 5 and hit the semicolon and hit save now the game should run without any fps and stuttering now if this step did not work for you then you would like to update your software and drivers so if you have an nvidia graphics card you can go and search for geforce experience you can also download the software links will be in the description if you do not have it so you can head over to this driver section and you can search for check for updates now, as you can see i'm in the latest nvidia studio driver but you should be using the game ready driver version if you do not have it so you can hit the download button and that will start the download for this driver once it is complete downloading you should go for custom installation instead of express installation custom installation will do a complete reinstall of the driver and the experience will be the best after it next up we would like to tweak some settings some 3d settings of your graphics card so that the game runs the best on your system nvidia and amd both have their different software so you can head over to nvidia control panel which is a software for nvidia and then head over to manage 3d setting now inside here you will find a lot of features so turn off image scaling keep anisotropic filtering as application control keep anti-aliasing fxaa as off gamma correction keep that on gamma correction will not interfere with games keep the anti-aliasing mode as application control the transparency as off background application max frame rate keep that off this puts more stress on your gpu that you do not want you should avoid it keep the cuda gpus to all so that your gpu can function at 100 percent keep the dsr factors at four times resolution because you can control this from the image setting keep the dsr smoothness to 33 percent the low latency mode to off you do not need this in a game like life is strange keep max frame rate off mfaa off open gl rendering gpu to auto select let the gpu decide power management mode you would like to put this to prefer maximum performance if you do not have a very powerful card or else put it to normal keep the shader cache size to driver default texture filtering keep it to off keep shader optimization to auto triple buffering to off keep vertical sync to use with 3d application setting although we won't be using vertical sync because that creates a lot of screen tear and ignore these two virtual reality settings don't forget to like the video if it helped you and subscribe for more videos like this